What's up guys? So ayun, uh, I'm on YouTube and my name is Pep Spark and yes, you can subscribe, click the subscribe button. But every YouTube video has an intro. So here is my intro. Today's video isn't about medtech or phlebotomy, but it's about... Just kidding, it's not about study tips, okay? So this video is about uh, unboxing. Who's excited guys? Just comment down below. So yeah, what am I gonna unbox? Of course, it's the... So, charan! So we're gonna unbox this guy, which is a stethoscope. Uh, actually, it's a gift to me. So yeah, I'm hiding the name because this is not a sponsored video, okay? And once you open the package, it's like this. Of course, a lot of bubble wraps, but yeah, here it goes. Tcharan! So, ayan, uh, it has a frequently asked questions, a manual, and the stethoscope itself. As cushion, which is it makes it safe, and of course the stethoscope itself. Stethoscope itself. So here it is. It's it's color blue or loyal royal blue, navy blue. Yeah. So as you can see, and then yeah, it fits perfectly at your neck because it is a twenty seven inches in length. Okay. As you can see, it's very comfortable, but it's heavy because it's a heavy-duty stethoscope. What are the key features of this stethoscope and why is it different from other stethoscopes? It's different from other stethoscopes because this is a tunable diaphragm, see? Which means it only has one side and the other side, or the bell, we do not have the bell. So it is a two-in-one, this is the bell and this is the diaphragm also. So, how does that work, right? Psst, just kidding, that's for the last event. So first, let's just discuss the key features. So first things first, it has very soft Q-tips or earbuds. And this, it also has uh, spare earbuds. As you can see, it has four, pair, four extra earbuds. And, of course, it has two tubings for its, for better listening. As you can see, it has two separate tubings, unlike the conventional stethoscopes and most uh, basic stethoscopes. And of course, the tube or the tubing is very thick compared to the conventional stethoscopes, which has a bit thin. But of course, this thing features uh, a bit high-end listening or auscultation, which is very much helpful for students like me. And those that are in the medical and healthcare field. For the parts of our test stethoscope, uh, let's start with the what we call headset. So here's the headset, which is it. Com it is composed of this part, headset, and these are what we call ear tips. Ear tips, okay, which are resemblance of earbuds, or as you can see, it's an ear tip, and it is removable. Uh, you just have to slide it and it's very easy to remove but it won't fall off when you're using it as you can see and then you can just snap it back so yeah you just have to roll it like that and it would be in place and it won't fall off easily as you can see Tra so that's the part so remember this is the headset this is the earpiece which are resemblance of earbuds and here this part is what we call the tubing. So as you can see, it has double tubing, which is it separates here. And also it has ear tubes. So this is an ear tube, the metal part. And of course, we have what we call the stem or the one that connects it here. 
this part this is the stem so yeah this is the stem and of course for this part uh, type of st stethoscope we don't have a bell or such as this part of the conventional stethoscope it is called the bell the back part so in here we have only the diaphragm however this diaphragm is a two-in-one diaphragm uh, this is the key feature of this technology because it only uses the pressure from the user or the one auscultating which determines if you're using a low or, or listening to low and high frequency tunable diaphragm stethoscope uh, it uses both but it depends on the pressure as indicated here on whether it is a low frequency or high frequency it depends on the user's pressure or applied pressure how do we use a stethoscope of course first things first you have to always disinfect your stethoscope because it is an instrument that you use on patients so you have to wipe it with a alcohol solution of 70 percent and when you're using it just remember that it should point out outwards the earpiece or earbuds should point out outwards as you can see it points out outwards see so that it would be easy or uh, convenient for your ear next you just have to hold it with your two fingers or yeah with your middle finger and your pointy finger so like that and make sure that when you're at the surface of the patient you do not touch the patient only the stethoscope or the diaphragm touches the patient or you can fold it like this so that it does not touch the patient see it's very easy when you are listening or auscultating your patient you should be in a quiet room so that to avoid distractions and uh, and other unnecessary noises so good luck for our other videos we would be posting on how to auscultate and auscultation sites and perhaps other medical contents so this is peps peps park on youtube subscribe guys click that button